You want to support Roller Mark Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Mark Unfiltered by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Okay, it's that time again. <laughs> All right, today in crazy ass white people news, <laughs> 18 year old Matthew Bernard of Neeling, Virginia, was arrested on three counts of first degree murder this week, according to Pittsville County Sheriff's Office. But before he went down, he led police on a low speed naked chase. Here's young Matthew. apprehend him and take him to a local hospital for treatment. I wonder how this story would have ended if Matthew was black. Cleo? Well, exactly. <laughs> well there is a story. Cause, cause the police are running from him and uh, the police are armed and he's chasing the police. Look, Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> look at it's, it's ridiculous. And he's committed another crime right there. It's ridiculous. And the police are there. He has the stick in his hand and then hit him with the stick. But, but he has an AR-15 in his left hand, he and he is chasing off. this man. Well, see, I can't laugh as hard as y'all because even though you ask a question, there's a real case where mm -hmm. there was a young man named Anthony Hill in Decatur, Georgia, who was 27 years old, who was a veteran, who was who was running around in the days, catatonic, mm -hmm. nude, didn't have on nothing, and had, of course, he had no gun or nothing because mm -hmm. he was just as nude as this guy, and he was murdered by the cops. Mm. So people can be treated differently. His name was Anthony Hill. He was 27, Decatur, Georgia, if you want to look this up, since it's no longer... It never did make national coverage, no. but it actually occurred, and he was murdered under the same... But, but this guy didn't kill nobody. I think it's important to make the contrast Yeah, this here. dude killed the three people. who was 27 years old, didn't kill nobody. He was a veteran. He was in good, good standing with, with, as, as somebody in the military. He never hurt anyone, and he was murdered by the cops. This dude killed three people and was allowed to run around like he did up in the cops' face. And commit another crime. Yes. while the police were uh, in light pursuit of him. But he didn't get tased, he didn't get busted Nothing. side of the head, they didn't throw a rock at him. And people will, mm -hmm. will argue some of us up and down that there's no racism in this country and that we're delusional and we're mm -hmm. race baiters. And why, why, do you have to no call, why do you have to bring race into every conversation? <laughs> why do you have... Why, yeah. I, I don't even see color. Yeah. You know, we live in a colorblind society. Well, ask Laquan McDonald's family. And Laquan McDonald, while he had on clothes, he was walking away from the police Clearly catatonic, clearly high on something, mm -hmm. clearly not all there, right? Not sure right. whether he had a weapon or not, and he got killed. But I want to spot, unbelievable. I want to spot something Robert said earlier, kind of in jest about when you go to court, be white. Well, Michael Jackson did it. <laughs> and he wasn't very successful. So, you know, stop. it don't always work. Matter of fact, he got arrested and, 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 and made to look bad after he died. Mm -hmm. They ain't even finished with him. Mm -hmm. Well, we will monitor this situation to see what things Which are one? going. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, the, <laughs> the, we're going to mon monitor what happens to Matthew Bernard. And we'll right, find out right. if he's actually convicted of these murders or if he is given a trophy and taken to Burger King. Because you never know in these situations. Or considered What's, mentally incompetent. You know, it's the video game. Incompetent. It, it's video it's games. Not That's not the problem right. with video exactly. games. All right, folks, back to our Rollermark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, November 7th, 311th, I want y'all to join me in Cabo, Mexico for the Life Lux Jazz Experience. Folks, it's going to be an amazing, top notch music and upscale destination. Uh, the weekend long event is going to be held at the Omnia Day Club in Los Cabos. Ooh, looks real good. Uh, of course, nestled in the Sea of Cortez in the celebrity playground of Los Cabos, Mexico. The Life Lux Jazz Experience offers uh, a huge, a huge event for jazz aficionados and folks who are going to have food, going to have music, all those fun things, luxury accommodations, you name it, taking place, including go golf and spa, health and wellness options for all of you. you got big names in entertainment for the second annual Life Lux Jazz Experience. Among those folks who have been, of course, confirmed, comedian actor Mark Curry, my frat Gerald Albright, Alex Bunyong, Raul Madan, Incognito, 
Pieces of a Dream, my favorite Kirk Whalum, Average White Band, Gospel Artist Donnie McClurkin, Shalea, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, Ronnie Laws, and Ernest Quarles. An amazing lineup of folks that you want to be able to check out, folks. So you got to come on down to Cabo. And in fact, we're going to be doing Roland Martin Unfiltered there uh, on the 7th and the 8th, that Thursday and Friday, right there uh, from Cabo. It's going to be a phenomenal opportunity. Those of y'all who are in, of course, uh, the cold areas uh, in the country, uh, yeah, come on, give me the beach back. Uh, in the cold areas of the country, come on down to Cabo for those days in November. It's going to be fantastic. For more information, please visit the website at lifeluxjazz.com, L-I-F-E-L-U-X-E, J-A-Z-Z.com. I would love to see you there. My birthday is right uh, about three days after that, so we can also make it a birthday uh, celebration. So it's going to be a phenomenal experience. Go to lifeluxjazz.com if you're looking for a great opportunity. Got some great packages uh, running anywhere from $1,300 all up to $2,000. But again, jazz concerts, few food, music. We're going to have a grand time. And see, don't be one of those folks who go, dang, I wish I had gone. You got an opportunity. So go to lifeluxjazz.com right now for all of the details. I'm back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.